What's going on, YouTube Nights? This is your man, TiVo. Welcome to Lords of the Long Box and the Once in a Blue Moon comic book haul. <laughs> it seems to be going like once a month now, but I'm going to be honest with you, man. I get so just, I don't know, man. I get cabin fever or whatever. I get a bunch of books. I don't even open them, to be honest with you. Um, I buy them. They just kind of sit around, and then I eventually realize I ran out of room, and I don't post them on Instagram because, you know what, I should do a video first. And, ah, it's just, you know what, it's just 2020, man. That's all I'm going to hood. But, regardless, I'm happy to uh, do a little show and tell with you guys. I got a gang of books, man. This is from uh, some eBay uh, sales, uh, some uh, YouTube auctions, uh, a bunch of, uh, like, for the last three weeks, some variants I pulled from my LCS. And that's and these are uh, and I feel really bad because this some YouTube auctions it was so old uh, like weeks and weeks ago I already forgot who I bought them from but I will try to remember as best I can. Fortunately, uh, this is one of them that I don't remember. I think this was on an NY Warriors auction. I'm not quite sure, um, but God, I feel awful. Really, the only auctions I buy from are NY Warriors, uh, Strictly Comics, and. Um, uh, very Gary, and occasionally when, um, um, I forgot already, man, but, anywho, I bought these DC books, because, you know, I just don't have a lot of these around, I thought they were cool, man, so, uh, this is the Batman Who Laughs, this is the Lucio Perillo variant, pretty, I think it is, oh, my bad, no, this is the Johnny Desjardins, uh, Batman Who Laughs, number one variant, signed by him by One Stop, at One Stop Comics, this is the Miko Siyuan, uh Batman Who Lasts, number five. Dope, dope cover right here. Uh, this is the aforementioned Lucio Perillo variant for Dark Knight's Death Metal, number three. And uh, uh, this one's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This cover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but, and he also, I got another one of these. Uh, he throw in this, too. It was like a five-book lot. But the third one I'll show later because I already have two of them. Uh, this one is interesting. This is the, um, I want to say this is the Delato. I think it's the Delato variant. Yeah. Yeah, this is a Delato variant right here. Gorgeous. You know, kind of looks like rough pencils done uh, from Bulletproof Comics and Games. This is, of course, uh, Death Metal's Dark Knight Metal number six. So for all of you interested in those. They may be available on the, the Lord's Black Friday sale. But very cool. Love these covers. Very hot right now, I think. Um, speaking of new variants, I got these from my LCS. This, of course, is Donny Kate's new book, Crossover. I think these are the regular, the, I think these are the variants, right? This one's cool because it actually has God Country on it as well. Uh, of course, the more popular variant right now seems to be the uh, the variant that has the, uh, it's a surprise variant where it's a black and white and it has that book on here. But then I got this other variant cover for here, which is pretty nice as well. So right now, anything, obviously, Donny Cates is super hot because, you know, it's Donny Cates. He just knows how to market his stuff really well. Uh, got this variant. Mr. Cho likes some drum fix, son. This is punchline number one. This is the Frank Cho variant cover. Get a close up close look at that. That is sexy. I like it. Yo, look at that. I like the background too. Nice. Punchline number one. Mr. Frank Cho, he likes to draw him thick. Speaking of variants. Here's some other variants that I got here. I've been collecting and reading Strange Academy. This is Strange Academy number three, the second printing. This is Strange Academy number five. This is the remote learning. How 2020 is that? When we look back in 10 years, people are going to say, what the hell was remote learning and Zoom calls? But it has all the characters on a Zoom call uh, for this issue. That's hilarious. Uh, this, I believe, number five is this. Yep, this is Art Adams variant for number five. And uh, how did this get in there? That's just a regular old ass cover right there for number five. <laughs> I lied. I said they were all going to be variants. 
Ah, uh, speaking of which, it's this variant here. Some more Strange Academy. This is the other Art Adams, number four. I have pretty much every cover of this that comes out. My LCS, Comics, Tunes, and Toys in Tesla, California has pulled them all for me. So I got a gang of them. This is a, another dope-ass Art Adams cover. This, of course, this is how old this video is. This is uh, the Spawn uh, tribute, uh, the homage to Chadwick Boseman from uh, Todd McFarlane. Dope cover. I saw the black and white one in my LCS, so... It's amazing how the prices drop on these. It was only six bucks, but you know, I actually like the color one better than I do um, the black and white one. Uh, seems kind of odd. Uh, of course, you can't do a comic haul without some Momoko madness, man. So one of these I got from that uh, other haul, but then I bought two myself. Uh, I believe these are from the comic Mint. So I got three copies of the Peach Momoko variant for Darth Dark Knight's Death Metal. Number three, one of the few Peach Momoko that I really dig. Um, you know, she's hit or miss, you know, but obviously she's the hot flavor of the month, so get them while you can, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what else I got here. These are cool. I don't even have a bag for these because uh, this was a gift, a uh, ALK, from one of the homies on Instagram. I put them up here without the bags because I don't have bags for them. These are um, Swedish editions of the master of kung fu on this one it features a backup story of um marvel premiere number 15 the first appearance of iron fist of course this is the these are the first prints by the way there's multiple printings of this and uh he was nice enough to send me so this is number two and this is number five shout out to the swedish comic collector on instagram for sending these to me because he saw that i had posted one but it was a uh second print not the first print so really stoked for get those now i just got to find some damn bags for them look at that let's segue right into uh master of the kung fu's as soon as i find it i am a mess as i go through these so uh this is the alex ross variant the timeless variant for master of kung fu uh number two i believe is what it's on right now and speaking of timeless variants, got to show this one. This is the timeless variant for Strange Academy, which is super, super uh, dope. Can't believe uh, he's doing these so awesome. I got a good six or seven of them, man. So maybe one day I will sell them all. Uh, you may see them on the uh, Lord's auction, man. I got this as kind of a funky one-off, man. And it goes in well with the next book that I'm going to show, but I just wanted to show you that, that one for us. This is Giga number one. This is the uh, homage to um, Shogun Warriors, right? Um, very, very dope. I'm a huge fan of Shogun Warriors. And so I get picked up this one. Don't know much about it, but I just dig the, uh, the homage to um, Shogun Warriors. And speaking of Shogun Warriors, my man Otto... Send me a nice early birthday present. Shout out to Otto from Three Men in the Basement. And uh, he was nice enough to send me this. Boom. 9.8. This is Lady Death. Hot Shots number one. This court, that's Lady Death dressed up as a Shogun Warrior. So there you go. My man Otto killed it. He pulled a 9.9. Nine, and he sent me this 9.8 as an early Christmas present. So uh, Merry Christmas to you too, Otto. Really appreciate it, brother. Oh, here's his note. Ho, ho, ho. Early Xmas. Otto. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Three Men in the Basement. Brothers of the channel. Always dropping cool stuff. And let's get back on track here, man. If you can see my floor, I have books strewn. Strewn. All over the place. And, you know, we'll stick on uh, topic here. Since I'm talking about Three Men in the Basement. I got this from a three men in basement. No, this was, uh, yeah, I think it was a three men in a basement auction. It was, I know I got it from Roger. Not, I'm trying to remember if it was on, I think it was three men in a basement. Yeah, it was. Um, cause, cause I remember sometimes they also go up here on Barry Gary's, uh, but I got these for a steal of a price. Nobody was really bidding on these. Um, contest of the champions. Number one, the first ever Marvel miniseries, man. Can you believe that? 
That's so cool. I love this stuff. I just need a third issue because uh, I was able to get one and two from Roger. There are also some first appearances in there. Also, I picked up another copy of this. High grade Marvel Secret Wars number one. Boom. Classic Secret Wars number 10. All near mint. And look at that. I got another one of these. Strange Tales number one third printing. I would, you know, they asked me to pose for it so they can, uh, you know, they use me as a reference for this cover. So I'm very honored. Thank you very much, Marvel and Scotty Young and Berto Ramos. <laughs> also, this one, this is third printing uh, Strange Academy number two. This is cool because they call it the faculty. Like, remember that movie, The Faculty? But it shows basically all the, the teachers that are there. Um, so very cool. Digging, I'm digging this series so far. I really hope they do something on the Disney Pluses and stuff like that. Uh, did I just say stuff like that? Um, speaking of, God, I should really get these in order here. Shang Chi number two variant, digging that one as well. I think there's a Philip Tan variant. Speaking of Shang Chi, these are now all the variants that I have. I have Shang Chi number one. This is. I think it's the Comic Mint variant. Uh, and this obviously is an homage to Special Marvel Edition number one. So you may see one of these or two of these on the Lord's Black Friday auction because I got four of them. Absolutely dope. And since this auction is so old, yes, I did pick up one of the last Ronins when it first came out. Uh, it has appeared on multiple lists since then. But this is how old this haul is that I'm finally getting around to showing it. Okay, um, let me get some music change here, man. Let me see, what do I want to play? Do, 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 do. All right, um, let me show you something. And this is really special that I, 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 I don't have the letter with me, although I should. I really feel awful about it. Can't even find my keyboard. Hold on. All right, um, I have it downstairs, I think, but either way, I want to give a shout out to um, this AOK -OK that I got from um, a fellow Instagrammer and YouTuber or watches our YouTube videos. And I'm gonna leave the, I'm gonna leave it up on the screen. Um, I posted it on my, my IG as well as on YouTube as the picture. And basically, uh, he sent these to me as A-OK, -okay, and he wrote a nice little handwritten letter that said, Tim, I really hope, let me uh, turn this off for a second. I really hope you don't have either one of these books. I know you really like these two characters, though. I just wanted you and all the guys at the Lords and Three Men in the Basement that I appreciate all your videos. I'm 40 years old and getting to the age when I starting to lose people in my life. In August... I lost my best friend and been friends since childhood. So now I really feel lonely, but I get to watch you all videos and it's like hanging out with you guys and I enjoy that. So, so these videos mean a lot to me and I appreciate everything. Uh, signed, Fletcher Fox. Um, thank you so much for these two awesome comics, Fletcher Fox, uh, and appreciate you watching our videos i had asked on instagram if anybody had this and um nobody sent me they go for about 50 bucks on ebay so um i really appreciate it fletcher you're a great guy Can, you know sorry for your loss and you know that's what we're here for man talk comics and you know sometimes we're geographically far from each other but we're close where we have youtube and instagram together uh he sent me this avengers world and this absolutely gorgeous man if you don't know what this is i'm going to show you what this is this is a strange academy alex ross timeless variant the regular one to which i showed already is all colored this is the sketch and it shows i'm assuming it's part of something bigger because it shows dr strange along with other characters but this is the harder to find of them so i'm super stoked really appreciate you fletcher fox um, and you know, if we can make your day brighter by making fun of ourselves and, and, uh, be self-deprecating, but still have a good time and try to drop a little knowledge on you. I'm all for that, man. That's what we're here for. 
Um, we're halfway there. Well, just kidding. Not halfway there. But, man, I love these two. These are staying in the personal collection because I have the note. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't prepared when I did this haul. But um, uh, the, it's on my Instagram, and it's on. I posted it on the community page the day I received it. I didn't show the comics yet because I want to do a haul video, but you guys all saw the note from Fletcher Fox, and it's really, really means a lot to us uh, from uh, Otto talked about it on the three men as well. So uh, let's get right to it. These I think I got from, I'm pretty sure I got these from uh, Comically Flawed. Um, I If I got his name right, I'm really sorry, but I bought these from him before and um, I got a bunch of Doctor Strange books. So these are a lot of these are doubles, triples, and even in quadruples. So I will be selling a lot of Doctor Strange books on the Black Friday sale. I love this cover. Look at that. You don't see many of those. Doctor Strange number 62. Look at that. That's me again. Just kidding. Doctor Strange number 63. Doctor Strange 64. Doctor Strange 66. All in high grade. This is what I really wanted, though. These are incredibly high grade comics. Doctor Strange number 171, Doctor Strange number 172, Doctor Strange number 173. I do believe these are slabable. As I pull out of frame here so you can see them all. 174, 175, 176, or excuse me, 177, skipped one. And then over here, as I pan out, that's awful, right? So, 178, 181, 180, one of my favorite covers of all time with Eternity, and 182. There was a small time where Doctor Strange actually wore a, a giant, covered his entire face. Um, so, a nice run of 172 to 182. Doctor Strange, all high grade. I'm going to go through which ones I have that are lesser grade, but still high grade because my collection of Doctor Strange is pretty vast. If I want to self-brag there for a second. So I'm going to pull whatever doubles and triples that I have and put together a nice lot of Doctor Strange books for the Black Friday day, Black Friday sale. Did I say Black, Black Friday auction? You know what I mean? Um, these two books I got from my friends over at Aegis Comics of Alaska. Yes, they also have an auction as well. For those sleeping on this book, this is Star Slayer number 10, the first appearance of Grimjack. Rumored. Well, not rumored, but it's coming eventually, but good time to get them now is the first appearance of Grimjack. Got it in 9.4. You don't see many of those. Also got this from them. This slab is gigantic. Good Lord, have mercy. Since... Kung Fu is all the rage. Look at the size of that bad boy. I think it's huge. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number one. Signed by the blue-shirted menace himself, Mr. Neil Adams, on 2019, Origin of the Sons of the Tiger. Shang-Chi Begins, Bruce Lee Biography, and Pinup. So, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu number one. So stoked to get this in my collection, man. Not many people have it. Even harder to find in high grade. I have a large collection of Deadly Hands of Kung Fu magazines um, and just oddities that I've always been collecting. It's really hard to get these in a high grade. So I'm, I'm happy with the 8.0 signed by Mr. Neil Adams. Almost there, boys and girls. I got this from my LCS. This is a pure nostalgia buy. This, that's right. That is the first ever magazine wizard excuse me i was like magazine pause uh this is wizard number one man you know i want to crack this so bad i'll open it up and read it but they're hard to find nowadays you just don't see them if you do they're torn up because man nobody was collecting these but i remember when these came out in 1991 i would flip through and read every single bit of it because they had so much good information for collectors the price guide at the back and it is the first ever top 10 we do a cover price top 10 the wizard had a top 10 list of the top uh hottest comics and Tom McFarlane did this special cover for it so super stoked uh this is something 
Just great nostalgia, man. Uh, Wizard Comics. You know, if I had the money, I would start Wizard Comics Magazine back up again. But uh, I don't know. I don't think magazines are a thing. At least Wizard.com, right? I mean, come on. Let's do it, man. Who, who's who got the uh, capital and uh, the technical know-how? And I'll be the brains behind it, which is probably a bad idea. But <laughs> all right. Last up. As soon. I mean, as soon as the announcement came out that Doctor Strange was going to be in um, the Spider-Man movie. Or vice versa. Was it? I think. Either way. This is the first ever meeting of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. An amazing Spider-Man annual. Number two. Yes, I will be releasing it from its PGX prison. I was going to do a live cracking, but I don't have... You know what? There used to be tons of videos of people that show you how to crack uh, slabs and everything. And this is even an older slab. I already looked on the inside. This thing has not been pressed. I can definitely tell it hasn't been pressed. So certain things to look at. It was graded back in 2016. Pressing was relatively new in 2016. When I looked at it on the inside and on the back, it has not been cleaned or pressed. So I think this is a great candidate. Uh, obviously, as a Doctor Strange fan, um, I, it's, it's an important key. Um, you know, I've always stated, after people buy first issues, uh, first appearances, start looking at first meetings. So this is the first time Spider-Man ever met Doctor Strange. It's kind of amazing, right? You think about it. Well, actually, it's 1965. So, wow, this is a really old book. So PGX 8.0. An 8.0 for a book that came out in 1965. We shall see how accurate PGX's grading is even after I press clean it and get it submitted to CGC. So there you go, boys and girls. Woof, that is a lot. So once again, special shout out to Fletcher Fox for those two amazing AOKs and the really kind handwritten note. I uh, really appreciate you, brother, for supporting the Lords and Three Men. And uh, yeah, man, I will be back Tuesday for the Cover Price Top 10. And make sure Friday... You may see some of these books available. Uh, myself, The Big To-Do, Nemesis Prime, and Dark Side Jedi will be doing a Black Friday auction on Friday, November 20... was it? 7th. Basically the day after Thanksgiving. You know, it's Black Friday. Everybody knows. We'll probably kick it off right around 6 p.m. Pacific, man. So uh, try to stay safe. It's not like you can go anywhere and do shopping. So come hang with us. This is like our third or fourth annual Black Friday auction. We normally go for three to four hours long. We're going to get a bunch of good stuff for you. So that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.